Today we're going to be talking about this beautiful thing that we usually see at a recording studio. We're going to talk about how do we connect them, what we can do with them, why do people have them, how do I use it and much more. This is called a lunchbox and this one has some really good hidden features that I really love and use all the time. Hi, my name is Louis Biluso. I'm a music producer and mixer. And today we are here at my recording studio and I want to talk to you about how a lunchbox works. We also do lots of other gear review and tutorials on this channel. So I encourage you to hit the subscribe button below and be a part of this wonderful community that is growing. And if you want to support the channel, you can leave a comment or a like that that really goes a long way to help us out and give you each time more and more videos. So like I mentioned before, we're going to talk about what is a lunchbox. And today I have the Quagliardi Pro Audio Q10500. I'm going to start from the ground up. I'm going to start explaining what is a lunchbox and how they connect and stuff. And I'm going to go deeper and deeper and then show you the hidden features of these. And I'm going to explain why I have some modules that look the same and I didn't put them together. That lots of people asked me on Instagram, so I'm going to respond to it today. What is lunchbox? An audio lunchbox, it's a compact chassis that allows us to connect lots of 500 series units. A lunchbox is practically a big power supply and allows you to connect different units from different brands because they all share the same way of being manufactured. Pick and choose whatever you want and you can have a transportable setup. This lunchbox, the Q10500, allows me to connect up to 10 units. So what kind of things can I connect to my lunchbox? Well, you can actually connect nearly anything. You can connect preamps, compressors, limiters, reverbs, delays, filters, and you also have units like reamps and other utility things. So for instance, you can basically have 10 preamps here and record up to 10 channels and you can have this and your recording interface and that's it. You can also have a really cool setup that I really recommend you have if you can, of course, it's two channel strips of three units. So you could have a preamp, a compressor and an EQ. Then you repeat the same thing and then you have four slots left. So you could have a stereo mix bus compressor and a stereo mix bus equalizer. I think that that would be an amazing setup. You could have a mix bus chain plus two analog channel strips with a preamp compressor and EQ. What I have in my setup is a bit different. I have preamp plus compressor from the brand Quagliardi, same brand as the lunchbox, really good ones. I have the 501 and the 576. Then I have a AEA preamp, a DIY recording equipment color palette, then another AEA and another DIY recording equipment color palette. And I have two empty slots. What do you recommend I, I get for these two empty slots? I'll read below. So how does it work? How do you connect it? So basically each, each slot, you just have to slide it and then fasten up the screws. Very easy to do. That makes it like really practical. And then this unit behind, it has a ground lift for each channel. And then something that I really, really love is that it has a feed button. So for instance, I could press the feed button that would be like from three to four. And that means that it will connect internally the output of number three into the input of number four. I love that because that allows me to do it in the analog realm and not have to do it as an insert. And that avoids me having to do an extra conversion and keeping the highest audio quality. So that's why, like I mentioned before, I have everything arranged this way. So I have the preamp going to the compressor, same again. And then I have the AEA preamps that they are extremely clean preamps going into a saturator. And this one has, for instance, an API transformer, a 15 EPS, like a tape saturator, and also a, a tone lock compressor. The example I'm going to show you now, I'm going to connect a preamp to a compressor to a saturator. And the cool thing about this is that I can record a vocal into three separate channels. I can have one that is the first channel with only the preamp, then I can have the second channel with the preamp plus the compressor. And then I have the third channel with the preamp plus the compressor plus the saturator. So that allows me to have extreme versatility and I can choose which one to use later on. And the cool thing is that I can interrupt the signal flow wherever I want. Ooh, man, travel so hard. Ooh, 
lordy man travels so hard don't nobody knows my travels but God Don't nobody knows my travels but God Went down the hill the other day Got so happy and stayed all day Went down the hill the other day So got happy and stayed a day Who lot of man travel so hard Who lot of man travel so hard Don't nobody knows my travels but God Don't nobody knows my travels Travels but God is getting you done. When light closes tired eyes, assume me with you, my love, to give you my dawn surprise. I'll be with you, darling, soon. I'll be with you till the stars start falling I've been waiting so long To be where I'm going In the sunshine of your love So this lunchbox you can use this two rack ears and you can actually just screw them into the side of the chassis and you can rack your lunchbox or you can use the two ears and you can screw them to the side of the unit and then you have a pretty good nice handle to it. One of the other benefits of a lunchbox aside from being able to connect whatever you want from different brands is that it's very transportable so that means that you can have your own setup here and take it anywhere and it's a bit cheaper than getting all of these units as a rack. It occupies less space, and also if you go into Tommen or Sweetwater, uh, I'll leave affiliate links below, you'll be able to see that a rack unit is more expensive than the 500 series of the same processor. That's because the 500 series doesn't include the power supply, which makes it cheaper. And you connect it to a lunchbox, which is basically a big power supply. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to grow this channel and get to as many people as I can and help out and explain basic recording questions. Leave me below other questions you would like me to answer in another video. I'll leave you here a video of the compressor of Quagliari, which is really good. I'll leave you down here a video of, of the AEA preamps. I'll leave you down here the color palette, the saturator video I made, and then up here a playlist with other gear review I've done on this channel. My name is Louis Peluso. Thank you for being here and watching till the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. I'll leave affiliate links below to everything I mentioned. Bye-bye.